Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Mega Man X Command Mission video. And I'm just showing you how to beat Scarface as quickly as, well not quickly as, probably not quickly, but effectively as possible. So nothing different here other than switching to Twin Fire for X. I don't think I have anything strong for Fire, no. I mean, I guess this is okay. It's decent, and it will also weaken him. It'll, it'll do decent damage, but our stats are going to be a little bit on the lower side, but I think we will equip that anyways. We have no access to the shop, so we also have Twin Fire on him. We have switched to Bait. Because of his hyper mode, he'll not be hit. And that's it for that. And then when we go to the Force Metals here, we have Thunder Guard. And we can, you can upgrade the Thunder Guard if you have the right equipment, but we're just using Thunder Guard here. And Bind Block, Bind Protection, and Bind Protection, and Thunder Guards so for everybody. So, with that being said, let's get into it. Alright, so I'm going I'm to see if we can beat this as quick as possible here, guys. Who are you? I am Scarfish, a rebellion <laughs> if you are not prepared, he can hit really hard. Super Force Metal. X, I challenge you to combat. You want the Super Force Metal? <laughs> That's right. We need it to realize our vision. It's essential. Now, return it to us. If you go in without any of those protections and guards and things that I showed you, it's going to be a lot harder. So with this in place, we should be able to win convincingly at least. See, without those guards, I would have done a lot more damage. He does have a counter, by the way. Yeah, he does have a counter. You can break it, but I didn't break it there, fat, sadly. Thankfully, he wastes his turn doing those moves at least. Zero can usually break his counter. You don't want to transform his X because he does lightning damage. So that's kind of a negative, unfortunately. I'm getting a little unlucky not, not being able to break these counters. We're going to start saving our WE here for zero so we can transform soon. Access full trigger should um, break the guard as well at 100%. Don't move. I say guard like his counter stance really. Yeah, but it knocks him back. Pretty good. Memorize as much. It's not one I use very often, but it'll, it'll probably do not good damage at all. <laughs> uh, it didn't hurt at all because you missed, buddy. 
Unfortunately, we did not be able to block the one in the middle there. It is what it is. But we were able to block zero at least. That's why that's why I gave it to him because I, he needs to do this kind of a thing right now, guys. <clears throat> I'm pretty slow at this. I got nine. I, I did get nine. And as you can see, it is doing a lot of damage here. It's almost 8,000 damage. That's a lot. Uh, yeah. Good thing we have those mines on, guys. I'm, I'm telling you. There we go. We took care of it. Easy. I easily beat him. Absolutely dominated. But if you don't have all those things that I showed you guys to equip, he will literally game, game over you unless you're like super... Ridiculously high level. I'm not, I'm not, as you will see here. I am not ridiculously high leveled. I'm only. I'm not even level 30 yet. So that's how you guys dominate this this guy. Um, so hope this helped you out. You're a strong one. What is this ideal you're after? And what does a dangerous weapon like Super Force Metal have to do with it? The rebellion and its commander do not wish to wage war. Why pit Reploid against Reploid? Yeah. Why stir up trouble? Because you deny us our dream. Commander Epsilon ordered us not to attack unless provoked. I've come here of my own volition. When I fought you, I realized that you're not the kind of Reploid that would use power to achieve crazed aims. So why in the world would you use a deadly weapon like Supra Force Metal and risk creating Mavericks? A weapon? Yes, it can be used as a weapon. But Supra Force Metal was originally created to heighten the capabilities of Reploids. By using it to improve ourselves, we have the potential to evolve by our own will. Are Reploids mere machines? No. No. We possess will. We have that must be clear. We must take our destiny into our hands. But you're playing with fire. What if you cause a maverick epidemic? Who are you to judge? Only future generations will have the right to say whether we are truly maverick or not. But enough talk. Have at you. X. <laughs> I must admit. Had to say it. Great strength. A pity we were not fated to join forces. Today, I shall retreat. You had best pray we never meet again. Alright, so finally we'll have access to everything again. And uh, we need to go back. Looks like there's more story even though I just, I just wanted to go to the exploration thing. We've managed to track Scarface down to a spot that appears to be the Rebellion Army headquarters. Although it's hard to be sure when you're trying to track a stealth warp. What is this place? Many parts of Giga City were designed to test the limits of Reploids. And believe me when I tell you, the glacier is the harshest of them all. Well, looks like we gotta go there. Yeah, but first, I just want to look at the deployment center. I call it exploration, you know what I mean. Now let's see what we've got here. Not much. Not much there either. Nothing there, sadly, but we can keep going. I got a stamina missile and a figure token. All right, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I just wanted to make this a very quick one where you just dominate this guy and hope you help help this help you out when you start playing this game. If you start playing this game. 
and I hope to see you in the very next video. Peace.